Hello my lovelies! Today I wanted to film one of the highly requested videos because, well, I have a little notebook in which I write down all of the things that you guys ask me for, so like, there's a lot of videos that you have requested a lot or like frequently, so I make sure to write them down and then every now and then I go through this like little list of videos and make sure to cross at least one once a week or a few times a month. So today's video is going to be about handbags and it's going to be my five favorite small handbags. So I'm talking about designer handbags and the five my most worn and favorite handbags. It's kind of like complicated. I'm like one of those people that don't even understand themselves. So basically I have some of the bags that are my favorites but I don't actually wear them that often. So this is going to be about bags that are my favorites, but I have to wear them all the time. So not just like, oh, this bag is my favorite, but I haven't worn it in like a year. It's actually about the bags that I wear the most frequently. And for that reason, they are my favorites. <laughs> a handbag that you've probably seen the most on my Instagram as well as on my YouTube channel would be this Gucci Red Marmon kind of like wallet on chain uh, bag and it is a small bag because it does not fit that much but actually fits a lot more than all of my other wallets on chains because it opens as like this kind of, I call it a harmonica. So it fits a lot. I actually wear this a lot when I'm traveling or when I'm sightseeing. It goes with a lot of different things. It like really, really spices up the outfit because it's in this beautiful red color with the golden hardware. Now, I have to say, I often have an external battery charger, sunglasses, mobile phone, my card holder, lip glosses, and various different things in here. And it does tend to like bulk up on the side, but it does fit a lot, which means it's just great. What I love especially about it is that it's made of grainy leather, which means that I do not have to fear that I'm going to scratch it. Now, I'm one of those people that believe that things are to be used and people are to be loved and not the other way around. So I do look after my things, but I believe that, you know, these are things, these are things that you should use. So if I paid a lot of money for this, I haven't done so, so that it sits on the shelf and just kind of like looks pretty. I'm gonna use it and wear it and I don't want to worry about it too much. That's why I tend to buy like rainy leather because that way I don't have to worry too much or the chances are I will ruin it like a lot smaller. So yeah, this is what it looks like inside. It also has a zippy pocket in the middle, one like kind of tighter pocket at the back, as well as a card holder compartment type of thing in the front. So, and at the back actually. I don't really tend to use those unless I'm really desperate for space. And at the back it's completely plain. As you can see, it does have some like little things here, but yeah, I did wear it like, I'm sure I worn it at least like 30 to 50 times this year, even though I only got it in like April. I know that Gucci does it in so many different colors, so I would highly, highly recommend it. As well as for everything else, I will leave the links below for all of these bags. And in case you're actually planning on investing in one of these smaller bags, I have also included all of my Cyber Monday links that I have, which will be starting from tonight midnight. So make sure to check out if you're interested in buying any of these bags. If you can score a discount, why not? I mean, I've done a lot of Black Friday shopping and I intend to do some more during Cyber Monday, so I might as well not be selfish and share all the codes I have with you guys. I have, in the end, written a whole blog post about it, so you might as well make the most out of it. Next bag that I would like to show you is probably in my all-time favorite color, and it's this, like, nude pink YSL chevron wallet on a chain. I adore this bag. I remember when I got it, I think the first outing with this bag was sort of in April and I was flying to Las Vegas uh, with Benefit and I just remember having this as my kind of like getting on the plane bag because not like my hand luggage of course but it was just like what contained my passport, my cards and my boarding pass and maybe like lip balm. Just like those necessities that you need for the first, you know, like getting on the plane stuff. So I really, really love that the fact that it's like light pink with golden hardware. And when you open it, it just opens like simple as this. And then it has like a zippy pocket here. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. And then it has like a card holder compartment at 
the back there as well as a pocket. It's also made of grainy leather. You will notice that most of my bags are like for the reason that I mentioned before. What I also like about this one is that you can, because it's kind of like quite small, it's almost like size of a, an actual wallet. You can, if you wish to, remove the shoulder strap or the crossbody strap and then, you know, you can have just the wallet. Will I be able to put this back on now? No one knows, but that doesn't matter. Anything for the purposes of good video, you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, this does fit a lot as well. Not a camera, not a vlogging camera probably, but it does fit like a nice amount of stuff. And I do wear it a lot, especially spring, summertime. I remember bringing it to Vegas and thinking like, oh my God, this bag actually goes with so many different outfits because it can be evening, it can be day. I remember wearing it to Grand Canyon, like during the day, like when we went shopping and it's just such a perfect little dainty thing now I love it third bag that I would like to show you would be my Chloe Drew bag now this is the oldest bag of all the five that I have here to show you it's in a beautiful beautiful camel grainy leather the leather of this is actually very soft and very smooth so now it looks kind of strange but it's just because it's empty so please excuse the like obviously stupid shape once you fill it in it gets a bit of weight at the bottom it gets that beautiful round shape as you can see at the back it's just plain and it looks a bit weird because it's empty because the leather is so 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 soft and smooth so it opens like this like that and then inside you can see it's very very beautiful suede leather like this I just love it I love the golden hardware as you open it it also says Chloe here Chloe made in Italy and yeah the only thing with this bag is that i must say is when you actually close it this like little kind of safety chain thing never stays like this unless you wear it like this it won't actually stay but i always wear it like this and even if it falls out who cares the bag is so cute you can wear it crossbody you can wear it shoulder whatever you want i really really love it and another thing that I love about this bag is that it goes really well like if I just pack it when I'm going away I know that it will go with most of my outfits because it's like that kind of like beigey tan um, color and it goes with black it goes with white it goes with most of the colors really so I'm pretty safe if I have like black shoes this bag you know it's really foolproof. I remember bringing it to LA and Dallas trips in April and that was one of the longest trips that I've done away from home like in terms of staying away from home for the longest time and I just remember thinking wow this bag actually goes with my every outfit so it was one of those like you know sometimes you bring a thing and then you never end up wearing it because it just goes with nothing well this actually goes with everything and that's probably a reason why I think I worn it together with the red Gucci these two I worn most of these for sure. The next bag that I'm gonna be talking to you about is also the most expensive bag out of the five here and of course I'm talking about an Hermes Constance bag now this is the only bag that I actually frequently wear that is in smooth leather the reason for that is you know another reason for that is that if you pay attention this is like dark smooth leather I mean like you can't really see very well because of the reflection from the light but if I touch my face and foundation and then touch this, it kind of leaves mark, which obviously can be wiped away, but it's just annoying having to think about that. You guys probably know that I got this bag on Bestia Collective, and they are actually doing 10% off this uh, Black Friday Cyber Monday weekend, so I will leave a link for that as well below, because I mean, like, if you get... 10% off on like a Chanel or an Hermes bag that's like three four hundred pounds saving so that is pretty great right I absolutely love this bag I wear it a lot I wear it either like this or I wear it on my shoulder as such and you could actually see on my Instagram and on my blog that I wear, wear it a lot frequently like burgundy is a color I like it opens very easily like it opens just like you lift this middle bit from the H and then inside it says Hermes Paris made in France and actually inside I have a lot of things because I worn it the other night so yeah I have like a jewelry no this is like oh this is like a really really cute choker anyway that's not that's not that's not the point of this um video i love this bag i actually have to clean it because it's got some fingerprints on it but it has a back pocket as well over here and it's just so versatile and so beautiful and the craftsmanship behind the hermes constance bag is something 
that really attracted me to it. So I'm very, very happy. It's one of the best purchases and one of the best decisions I made this year. Now, the last bag from this like five favorite mini bags video is actually, well, it was very difficult for me to decide which one I'm gonna include. And I was thinking of a Chanel that would fit in perfectly here. But then I realized that this next bag that I'm gonna show you is such an underdog. And for that reason, I thought I'd show it to you because I've worn it a lot more than I thought I ever would. I'm talking about my silver Bulgari Serpenti bag. I would say this is like a shiny leather because it's so metallic-y with a snake's head. You know, I love like snakes and symbols of snake. I just find them so mysterious and wise for some reason. At the back, it says Bulgari at the bottom, has the, you know, the signature chain and actually like how nice would it go even with this dress. The reason why I love this bag so much is that when I'm traveling, I just pack it in my bag and I know I have an evening and a day bag. So I could wear this with like a dress or I can wear it with jeans, white shirt and a blazer or I can wear it for a night out with a dress like this dress or a simple black dress or a simple white dress. Anything goes like because it's just such a simple classic bag. It's really versatile. It fits not as much as I would want probably because it's kind of tight and it's square. So for some reason like if it would have been a little bit wider it would probably fit a lot more but it does fit like essentials and I did wear it a lot especially during fashion week so I wore it to Chanel show, I wore it on like several days if I remember well, I'll try and insert some pictures. It also inside comes with a mirror similar to my Dolce & Gabbana bag, if you haven't seen that video I'll link it as well below. So has that mirror, such an Italian thing right? To put a mirror in the bag, so handy, I can't even explain it to you. So yeah, this is what it's like inside. It's actually canvas lined, which is also handy because I don't have to worry too much about it. Now I'm very, very happy with this bag and since I wore it so much more than I ever thought and it's like pretty scratch proof and it's really, really becoming more and more trendy even though it's like such a classic bag, I thought that I absolutely have to talk to you about it and tell you how much I love it. So. That is it with my five favorite mini bags. I know some of them were not on the complete mini side, like for example this one, some people would probably call this medium bag. But I just really wanted to show you what were the smaller bags that I wore the most this year and in general in life. I am sad to say that I probably would include here as well my light pink Valentino rock stud, which is actually a lot bigger and not such a mini bag, but since it got stolen and I don't have it anymore, I totally replaced it with this and that was a bag that I used to wear a lot, but obviously since I don't have it anymore, I don't wear it. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you have some smaller handbags that you would recommend me. You guys know that I'm always on a lookout for a good handbag. Small, big, medium, large suitcase, any kind of bag. That's basically my passion. So leave a comment below telling me what is your favorite small size bag. I'll speak to you soon. Bye!